20 years 20 years build up a lot because clearly i listen i thought this nigga gonna be done two days ago this i mean nigga, I, I said get it off your chest this nigga got off his chest his back this back of his ankles is roasting them like he's still going and, and it's it still it good ain't, it ain't gonna stop it's still good it ain't it ain't got born yet it's still good <laughs> nigga it, it feel like we had a damn cookout hey he just like everybody got their uncle in the family who just can keep going and going and going he's a shit talker yeah, that's what they call him that's what they call him you just run your damn mouth he got a he got a mouthpiece on him but uh so are we late on this because we thought he was gonna stop but matt barnes <laughs> came out and offered him a chance to come on the all the smoke podcast he also invited him to some now he want to be he want to he want to smoke now now he want to fight he almost he want to want a podcast and we know that ain't really what he want that ain't really what he up to that he's an agent <laughs> call me brown brother brown brother brown you've been ranting for about five days now uh your cry for help your need for attention has worked i heard your instagram following has grown over thirty thousand the last handful of days since you had my dick i mean my name in your mouth um but don't be fooled by this new attention bro all these people that are gassing you and putting a battery in your back all the platforms that are picking you up didn't give a fuck about you last week bro they don't love you they just love the drama <clears throat> and the old the old jokes you're saying they don't love you they don't love me they don't know no one they love a drama that's it but come on all the smoke come talk your shit face to face you got a story to tell obviously you're hurt i mean like i said you you can you can play it off with humor but you're hurt and i get it i mean but come on the show talk that shit tell your story face to face there's no bigger better platform than ours you can say what you want we're an award-winning platform we don't tear down black men because you're the butt of the joke now that's that that's what you're on you think we're tearing down black men but if you actually watch the show we empower everybody that's what our thing is so come on the show man we'll be in atlanta next month come to you um shit if me and you got a box before during or after then shake hands and get this shit done you know i'm always with the shit but come tell your story man get that shit up off your chest and you attacking stephen a smith he's almost 60 years old he don't want to fight you but i ain't got no issues like i said i'm with the shit so you could bring your hookah you could bring that front seat of your car that you're always in ranting about make yourself feel comfortable whatever you need to feel comfortable but come on all the smoke and tell your story my nigga we'll be in atlanta next month let me know what's up this was so fake you know Dan, like the, the, the way shit you felt scripted the way you offered him it sounded like you really was you you still dissing him but why would i invite you trying why would to I take an invitation when you're dissing me in the invitation yeah you belittling him like, like oh you you need to come and cry on our shoulder yeah it's like nigga look and i don't think matt Barnes no punk but it's like he it's like punk you know punk punk but he coming off like you know hollywood right here which is what he's supposed to be the opposite of it ain't a good look him and shaq i mean <laughs> Steven Jackson telling the man his life is dirt. Like that ain't that ain't activist, is it? That's not Damn. Act- yeah, he told the man his life was dirt. He, he's nothing. It was like, I thought you was Mr. Black Lives Matter, Mr. Activist, Empowerment. That's that's on the camera. <laughs> that's degradation. But you know, you know how that go. Obviously, Kwame responded in kind. Becky with the good hair. <laughs> Fuck no, he didn't do that. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, we not gonna put you on. These niggas so silly, they don't know what they wanna do. Nigga, we don't need you, nigga. You, nigga, we not gonna put you on, nigga. Go back to wherever you was at. This and that. Uh, uh, come on the podcast like men. Let's talk face to face now. If you want to box, if you want to do these people on the internet don't love you. Did you love me when you were talking to me like that in front of that black, uh, that white woman, bitch? You, you niggas crazy. Did I say I love these people that claiming they love me? No. They listening to some real words, you punk motherfucker. <laughs> Use them little white ass. I, I think you a white girl now, nigga. With that slick ass here. Boy, you got that finger wave going good, too. Boy, you look real cute, though. The Dennis the Menace looking motherfucker. <laughs> this nigga got a Dennis the Menace comb over talking about all this shit. Shut your bitch ass up. I'm not coming to your platform now, ho. 
When I asked to come and talk to you niggas because I was too small, you were talking to the little guy. And now I grew my own platform just by talking to your bitch ass and telling you to shut your goddamn mouth. Now all of a sudden I'm worthy enough to come on your platform and you'll be doing me a favor. You know I'm hurt and I'm screaming for attention and I'm in the front seat of my car that I was always on. You dumb bitch, I was on my tractor the other day, stupid bitch. After I cut my grass, I was on the tractor. Go look at that video, ho. Fuck you mean. You niggas stupid. Y'all y'all act like female. You keep shouting out little insults, little well, I know you hurt. How the fuck you know I'm hurt, bitch? Did anybody make you a clinical uh, psychiatrist? We haven't even talked yet. Because I'm making jokes about you and your girl fucking your teammate. I'm Damn. hurt. Nigga, shut your bitch ass up. No, Matt, you hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I think you I know why Matt feel some type of way. Because he keep bringing up that. He keeps twisting that damn knife on his ass. But like you said, uh, with everything he said, he calls you everything but a child of God. <laughs> Everything. So that he, when we when y'all see one another, he expecting hands to be well, thrown. No, he said he said they're trying to set him up. Yeah, they're trying to set him up. He said because uh, Jamel Hill got her ass involved, and we'll get to her. And then he challenged him to a fight. And at the same time, Charlemagne, who we're gonna get into next, he put that mess out about his family. He's like, "Oh, y'all working together to trying to put me in a." They're the media. That's what the media does. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hear what Charlemagne said about his family. Oh, no, so that's he, why he snap <laughs> yeah well he just you basically could, snapping Leave what you just did was compare what the allegations against his family members to say that he's liable to, he's susceptible to do that you just criminalized this innocent man pretty much you just <laughs> you just what, insinuated that because people in his family did something wrong he's gonna do something wrong leave kwame alone or you are he gonna kill you that's crazy do he realize what he just did yeah, he know what he just he did. Just he was told to do that. He, he was told, he just made an innocent man a killer. And a woman killer. He made sure that he's a woman killer. This is crazy. Obviously, <laughs> Kwame had a few words for his ass. And he got it. And his what Charlemagne did was, he was, it was so stupid. Down in my world, ma'am. I still live in the real world. Y'all can do that over there. Charlemagne the God. Now let's address you, punk. You want to sit here and talk about something that my father did. Something that you allege my father did. You want to talk about something that you allege my brother did. But what did Jack say I did? Let's look at my reputation. Jack said that I roll around with the police. Did he not say that, sir? Do that sound like somebody that's trying to bring violence to someone, sir? See, it's funny how you just got right on and you just created a narrative. And you notice what you said, you bitch boy, that bleach your skin. You know what you said? Jack and Matt Barnes are my friend. Yeah, what I told y'all is to go along, get along game. It's the peanut gallery. And I don't fuck with your kind, punk. <laughs> Any nigga that ain't, that, that's gonna bleach his skin and rape a woman, you gotta drug bitches for pussy, you punk motherfucker. Well, I ain't going to say bitch because I know that young lady went through a traumatizing experience dealing with your stank raccoon face ass. So you have to rape and drug young ladies to get pussy, you punk bitch. And they got your bitch ass still on the radio because they know that little punk ass shit that you do and that shit that you push showing that shit to these black boys throwing bunkies at grown ass men, you punk. If you would have did that to a woman, that would have been sexual assault. But see, they, they got your dumb ass in position to disrespect men. So now when you see a strong, full-bodied man, now you keep wanting to say that's violent. I'm sitting in my car, bitch. You niggas sad. You niggas sad. I'm not ethering y'all. Y'all are ethering yourself. Everything, everything that I said you punk motherfuckers was going to do, you, you guys are actually doing it. Stephen A actually pretended like he was a basketball guru and he destroyed a black man's name. You know why? For money. See, that's what y'all don't want to get to. That's why y'all want to keep all calling me angry. All this was about money. Stephen A is a fucking pawn. There were five guys that was top five in my draft class that came out of high school, motherfucker. And colleges were losing money because they were going to be like 10, 15 that come out of high school after that. 
And then they started saying, oh, hell no. You ain't fucking with white daddy money. We got to get these black boys to continue going to these white schools. That's why I shout out to Master P and his sons. See, most of you motherfuckers dumb and listen to stupid ass bitches like Charlemagne the God and old punk ass beta male DJ Envy. Bitch, you ought to not be talking about male issues, you punk motherfucker. You don't see Bill Gates running around doing a whole goddamn cheating tour, you punk bitch. The white boy was able to cheat like a man. Break off and break up like a man. Your bitch ass getting drug around like a puppy on a leash, ho. You shut your bitch ass up when I'm talking. The yeah. man... DJ Envy went on radio and apologized to his wife. Then he went on the real, apologized to his wife. Then he did uh, articles, written interviews. The dude went on a whole press tour apologizing to his we wife. We have heard nothing from Melinda Gates. Nothing. This idea, uh, their uh, divorce has been allegedly they've been uh, going back and forth on it for two years. They've been negotiating this divorce for two years, and you didn't even know. None of your business. <laughs> and speaking of. This, Stephen A said, you know, he's not going to respond. He said he's going to let Kwame get his off. He right. You know, he was wrong. No, because he, well, he didn't say he was wrong. He said he deserves to not be talked about in his retirement. He didn't say he was wrong for what he said or what he did. He just said. Because he want that smoke to clear from him. Because <laughs> he want to keep putting out that content. Yeah. Out. Because they know if they stop talking about black men, what are you going to talk about? Yeah. Well, I remember when uh we saw, i show you this, uh, Jalen Rose went out of his way to try and get rid of this narrative of bus. Find out how but, he's but, not but, living up to expectation? I don't want to get away from what we're talking about because th that's that's what makes this Oh, race. I'm saying on the point. I'm right here. Form. But I'm there, right here. there's a difference between reporting what you see in the box score at the game or calling someone a scrub. Like, if I make... But he the, is a scrub. Well, not if he's a scrub. No, no, you no. Know it. I, I, Kwame Brown may be a scrub compared to Shaquille O'Neal. And if he's able to maintain one of those jobs for 10 years, there's no way he could be a scrub. You know, he, yeah, he went at Skip Bayless and Stephen A. And then even on his own show, his podcast, uh, he said he want to retire the word bus. Now, I don't know if that ever, that didn't happen, obviously. But obviously, he don't use it. He said players don't like to use it. But yeah, um, yeah, in Charlemagne, Lord have mercy. You have a rape allegation against you. We said this. We've been saying, we obviously talk about it. We, we talk about this. How in the hell did Charlemagne allegedly drug a girl, take her to a military base, rape her? Allegedly. Allegedly. Then she go and tell what happened. They bring him in and he plead no contest, no contest, no contest in just... And she barely got any press. Like barely, she came out and it, they, it's, she was on like little. She was on I saw platform. Choke no joke. Tasha K. But yeah. I think she was on I, Tasha K. Platform. I don't know about Tasha K. But I know Choke No Joke. I don't, I'm not sure about Tasha K. Platform. But it's just like, how the hell was he able to stay on the and he on the radio? That it was going around of him on the radio saying he used the Spanish fly shit to drug women. And it's like he just stayed on the radio. Just bloop. Yeah, on the radio, nothing. This is doing a Me Too era, Times Up era, and he just that do what I want to do. How the hell is that even possible? And as obviously Kwame insisted, because he, you know, you know, he I, in them pools, he in them, he in them jacuzzis with them. Everything, with them boys. everything's supposed to be done in, in this time. Yeah, like this, like twenty. Y'all thought 2020, 2020 it, it ain't gonna stop unveiling <laughs> what's going on. Charlemagne, you not gonna get away with what you did to that young lady. Not gonna get away, but you know Kwame obviously he's saying he you know he with them boys in that jacuzzi, them executives, them producers, them higher ups. That's what he's accusing him of. He's uh, he's in them offices scraping with a thong on. That's what he said. Yeah, but obviously Jamel Hill, she had to get involved. He couldn't help herself, and he ended up flaming her ass too. He got on her <laughs> ass a little bit. Her and he tied her in with Stephen A. Hold on. Jamel Hill, an educated black woman that hang around all motherfucking white people. I done seen your pictures. An educated black woman going to try to text me, a man with a third eye, a Geechee. You want to tell me that you say I choose violence. What the fuck does that mean, ma'am? 
I'm a black man in America. And you're going to put I choose violence this weekend and then turn around and say, oh, I meant you. I didn't mean you choose violence. Or choke. What the fuck are you talking about? That don't make no motherfucking sense. You keep perching and getting putting your putting me in your business when I don't got nothing to do with you, man. I know your kind. You a cold switcher. <laughs> I know your kind. You talk black, but everything about you white. You get mad at white women for cold switching and, and, and cultural appropriation, but you a, a black woman that probably, <laughs> like Stephen A, peel your ass back and there's a Becky up under you too. Because that was uncalled for, ma'am. I'm sitting here talking about how the media is demonizing black males, and it's interesting your choice of words was violence. See, you've been, y'all been able to disrespect black males with no recourse this entire time. Yeah, but that's over with. <laughs> Bald face looking ass. <laughs> he didn't let up. And he to keep your foot on a <laughs> fuck, I mean, and, keep and your so, foot on their neck. Even in this, somehow Jamel Hill found a way to make herself the victim. Somehow. When you it had none of, it had nothing to do with you. No, it wasn't none of your he, business. He tried to use the whole you chose violence. It's a little mean. I get it. He might have misunderstood what she was saying, but okay, you could have just said move on. And then she gonna oh well he bring her unnecessarily threats towards me again. And it's like, Jamel, don't nobody give a fuck about you. Threats towards her? Bruh, Jamel, no one gives a fuck about you. Since your little spat with Donald Trump, it's been over. You lost your job at ESPN. You left that brother hanging. Who had your back? You cost that black man a job because you went in your, your mouth. Then you, he couldn't then you, stay. He had then to leave. You got with your you. own show. And I don't see what, what happened. Where is Michael? What's his name? Michael. Uh, I forgot his name. Michael. Where's Michael at? The brother. He stood next to you. Just left left the brother behind. You do a couple interviews here, well, here and there. But damn, you cost that man a job because of your actions. But, I don't even. Know. I don't even ever hear her mention his name. Well, it's the same thing, Mark Lamont Hill with uh, the rest of them. They don't even say his name. That man was doing YouTube videos for a long time. He was doing internet shows. They yeah. wouldn't even bring him on. Uh, Michael Smith. Yeah, Michael Smith. They wasn't. They wasn't bringing Mark Lamont Hill on TV uh, often yeah. after he went at that Palestine thing and got fired. Same thing, Michael Smith. Now, Michael Smith got a show on CBS, I think, with a black dude. They got a sports talk show. So he got back on his feet. He landed on his feet because he's good at what he do. But damn. Jamel always find a way to put her nose in something that got shit to do with her. And, all, and I'm glad he kept it real. Yo, she, she always put her nose in black male business. She, he, she, <laughs> he made sure to keep it real sweet and nice with her. Mind your business, I ain't talking to you. That's all he really said to her. Mind your business, I ain't talking to you. <laughs> so, you know, like I said, Kwame, he giving everybody a taste. If you say his name, if you say something that he feels you can take away, then he on your ass. I'm 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 glad he just speaking real. Yeah, he raw with it. Just raw. No, you know what? No cleaning. Sometimes you just gotta be raw. You gotta be raw for, for people to understand you and hear what you're coming from. Hey, shout out to him. That his his following has grown by like fifty five thousand subscribers yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. 40, 50, you mad, on you saw man, I, I see you got thirty thousand. You know, yeah. When people you know he gaining subscribers. You got people saying he only getting these followers because of what he's doing going at Matt. And he also getting cause he speak real shit. Yeah. So people are subscribing just because it's him. And you know what? He's just using this, I think, to build. To build. And then after he done building, he's going to focus on things that he actually wants to talk well, about. Well, even while talking about them, he's still focused on other things. Yeah. He's talking about the community, what he feels is what's necessary to build and grow. He's already talking about this stuff in the middle while he's going at y'all. So he's an intelligent guy. Brilliant. So shout out to <laughs> Kwame Brown. Kwame Brown or Sabbath Brown. We're going to get into that. <laughs> But shout out to the brother. Oh, no, I'm sorry, the elder, because he's my elder. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to him. Uh, continue his growth. We will see where his next chapter is after this, because obviously at some point it's going to be useless to talk about Matt Barnes. And he ain't going to really talk about Steven Jackson no more. He kind of moved on. But yeah, uh, shout out to him, man. And all praise to the Most High and peace. <laughs>